Good morning guys, so um, today is a scriptus morning and um, it's very foggy outside and I'm pretty sleepy so I'm halfway through my coffee. I think I'm going to be running a little late to the pen show but I guess that's good because I won't have to wait in a long lineup. Um, I'm gonna, I just cleared out my uh, rickshaw case so I can bring back any uh, new pens in the case and I'll, I think I need another sip of my coffee. Initially, I was gonna bring my Hobonichi notebook to do swatches and pen tests because I have it already. Um, but I decided to stick in, well, let me just get my bag. And I'm just bringing very light items, which is my wallet and moved into this Hobonichi. I'm giving this a second go. And uh, yeah, I'm, I changed over to use my Hobonichi Weeks. It actually fits the map and I'll show you because uh, yeah, so few people uh, or attendees uh, posted these. Um, I think they just screenshotted it and resized it for the people attending the show so I just cut it out and actually fits the Hobonichi perfectly so these are some of the uh, highlighted ones that I really want to see um, in terms of vendors and that's the map and I've highlighted the ones that, really, that are highlighted here so um, this is just going to be for reference and I can check off like which one I've actually been to there's actually going to be a lot of people this morning at opening so um, yeah I don't know. I'm hoping I kind of avoid a rush, but then I want to go early to get like a button, like a show button. And I don't know how much they have of those, but every year I go and never see them because I go in the afternoon or something. So I'm going to go head out uh, in a few minutes and try to, you know, get there as fast as I can. It is, um, what time is it right now? It is... 9.52 so I definitely not going to be there at the opening um, but yeah I've decided to do any like swatches or pen tests here and I'm bringing up my pilot decimo because just for quick access and um, I need to put a bunch of cash in here and uh, I think um, so this is going to be my wallet I need to put in my cards and I can't believe I forgot to do that last night but I bring my uh, rickshaw with like one twisby inside um and that's pretty much it that's that's what i'm going to be uh taking to the show so uh, as, as soon as i get myself ready get out of here it's probably going to be 10 and it's going to take me about half an hour to get down um yeah to where the show is so uh yeah and uh hopefully i'll be able to get some good footage see you later So 
I think I'm gonna go with the uh, with the taki. The taki, yeah. All right. All right. My first purchase, <laughs> and I just got here too. <laughs> And you've got two colors today. You have other colors in the store? Grandpa. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, he'll be over in a second. Just uh, uh, a I think Cassie Corbin did the design, and then they got, Jessica got a made of rickshaw. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, they have two different color liners inside. I forget oh, which is which. That's cool. Probably that's red and that's blue or something. Yeah. <laughs> because of these. They're different colors? like. Well, the inside's a are... different color. Oh. The outsides, feel free to take them out. The outsides are the same, but I think I think one's a teal and the other's a red inside. And... I totally missed out when they did the orders for these. I oh, would yeah. love to have one. Yeah. So I got in on the second order, but I bought too many. Did you? Yeah. So that I missed teal. out. Yeah, Jessica did another order. I think she's here. I missed out on the second one too. Oh. So. Oh look. Oh, that's all red. Kinds of stuff. That one's yeah, red. Yeah, that one's red. Oh, yeah. I think I like the red one. Oh. So I'll I'll, 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 I'll I'll take that one. Yeah. There you go. Work. Does, is it in working order? Oh, okay. I'm not experienced enough to do it, so I'll leave it. Seriously, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. There's a lot of collectors here who like doing their own restoration yeah, works. I I wish, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's beautiful. Wow. All right. You say hi to my YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? It's TalkSmart. Yes. Oh, do you? Just search my company name and then you're going to know Okay, awesome. I'm doing a vlog. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. That's okay. They're both the same. These are beautiful. Where did you get these? Uh, it's uh, a girl from Instagram, Carrie Bullock. She's around today. What is that? That is a seed pot from a tree called Banksia all the way in Australia. Oh, okay. So this is how it grows. It flowers all around and then all the seeds pop out of there leaving those empty spaces. And then I fill the empty spaces with a resin and a powder to get some of those designs. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that is gorgeous though. Oh my gosh. That... <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll take a card. I'll take a card. 
Thank you. Just, just, just oh my God, so much people here. <laughs> Oh, this is my first time here. So is I'm it really? Yeah. It's two years, no show. Now everyone coming, right? Oh my gosh. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very well, guys. It was great today. And I have these Asian ones I made and some original stuff you can see. Wow. Making sure I move it negative instead of positive, and all the little adjustments and stuff that used to ruin a lot of things. I'm really happy with my time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. I'm doing YouTube video. What's that? YouTube video. You're doing YouTube video? Yeah. <laughs> I won't. This is not a good look. Be honest, you want to I was hoping to be able to do this. That's all right, thank you. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Because this. I'm just yeah. waiting for my chase. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect as possible. Uh, uh, yeah, engineering physics. That was my. This is like yeah, but Vancouver is like in a different country because like 2,000 kilometers away. That's true, that's true. Beautiful. Thank you very much. That's a, a body for the lammies. Thank you. I get bored some... characters that you were doing were awesome. Thank you. 
very, very well. Because like I was thinking about even just like one of like like a like this kind of thing or green. You're always pretty in terms of like. Yeah, this one is a very star with a little bit of a lineup. How does that compare? I am ready to say goodbye to the pen show for this year. Hopefully, next year we'll be able to come back. Raccoons going shopping as well. So now I'm actually walking back to the pen show because I realized the nib on my Schaefer needs a, a little lining. So uh, hopefully uh, one of the nibmeisters has a slot available when I go back. See you guys later. Hey guys, I am back home now. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip to Scriptus. I'm so happy I was able to get everything I wanted done at the show. And I am going to share with you uh, what I picked up and uh, you know my experience. So after we had lunch, I, I wanted to go back to the show to get my nib aligned because it wasn't it was not writing very smoothly. Uh, the nib was kind of scratchy on the towards the left um, stroke, and so I wanted to go back to the show and um, find a nib smith to take care of it. Um, so I wasn't able to film all of it, especially that part because um, he at first he said it wasn't very it wasn't um, like unaligned. Um, but then I told him it was like it is like scratchy when I do a left stroke so uh, He buffed it out a little bit. Um, I don't know what he did, but it only took him like I don't know less than five minutes and He was able to fit it in because it was just a really quick fix um, So yeah, so I'm happy that I'm able to get that fixed and it's just a reminder that when you buy vintage nibs uh that is you know to be expected so so i'm happy i got that done and i really do need to learn and practice to align my own nibs but i just because this is kind of like my first vintage pen purchase i really didn't want to take it home and deal with it later i just wanted to use the pen so that's why i did that but i could have saved myself 30 dollars <laughs> if i tuned it up at home um, anyways, so that's my lesson going forward, um, but let's get into uh, what I picked up. Um, so I found um, Henry from penablers.ca and it was uh, pretty, <laughs> there was so much people as you can see in the video. It was just seeds of heads and 
yeah so if you're going to get the good stuff i would say you have no choice but to line up i heard there was like a hundred people um lining up in the morning before the doors opened uh so yeah and but at two o'clock it started to uh get a little slower yet there was still a lot of people so um but if you go near the end uh then it should be better but then again if you're there for the good stuff then you have no choice but to get a little er, get there a little earlier and i wanted to get there earlier to also make sure I got a button so um, I've been two times but I've never really gotten a button so I'm happy that I was able to grab one um, there so yeah let's get into it so I guess I'll just show you what I got from Henry um, so I got this um, I don't even know how to say it this crab pen holder from on Anitol, Anatol, Anatol, and uh, I've had my on on one of these for a very long time and I saw that they got in like a bunch of it was like I think uh, restock and they had the pink one and I'm so happy to pick up the pink one and I haven't really seen a lot of pink ones so um, I'm really excited to pick that up just get that open and I'll leave his website uh, in the description. And yeah, there it is. The crab. And he's so cute. And as you can see, I'm drinking um, some, a cold drink because I'm just like, I just got back and it's pretty hot. And it was such a beautiful autumn day today. The sun was out and it was like not too crowded downtown. So it was, um, we had a great time like walking around uh, after lunch and then going back to the show so let's see what do I have in here I don't think any of this is going to be in order but here is the pin and this is uh, uh, pins so fountain pen day uh, makes pins uh, for the show every year so this one is scriptus for October 30th 2022 sorry guys I know my focus is a little off but um so yeah I'm so glad I picked one of this up and I picked up I think a sticker as well they had a sticker too and yay so happy to get that um and he also gave me I think two bookmarks um right here and it says celebrated worldwide on this first Friday in November fountain pen day so yay uh, and then I passed by the wonder pens um, booth and picked up the wonder pens script this um, postcard so I was excited to get that as well I have like a collection of those now and I picked up some business cards um, from Coca Bora Creations. Uh, yeah, it was a, he was a very friendly guy to talk to. Um, also picked up my pen from the pen lady. And I love her stuff. So I um, wanted to make sure I picked up her business card. Um, London Penco. Um, I didn't pick up any pens there because I uh, blew my budget one day before the show because I bought a sailor. So, cough, cough. Yeah, I know. I just couldn't help it, but um, I will explain myself in a future video um, when the pen arrives. But yeah, so I, w I saw a lot of pens that were really nice, but um, I wasn't able to pick it up because I was strict with myself. But London Penco is, they had a, so many nice, um, like, uh, resin, turned resin pens, I think that's what you call it. Um, and then I picked up, oh boy, okay, so I picked up, um, so, oh gosh, I'm so bad with names, but... 
I met somebody, a member of the Canadian Fountain Pen f um, Facebook group, and he he uh, was he had a table there, and he was selling these uh, sleeves, and he had two of them. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's the sleeve that I totally missed out on when they did like a custom group order f from rickshaw. Um, as you can see, there's like a, I'll open it. It has a, has a maple leaf on it and um, inside is red. So they ha he had one that was blue too, but I picked up the red one. Um, so yeah, like he said he ordered way too much and he had extras to get rid of. So I was happy to s find this because I missed out and I'm so sad um, when I missed out on the second order they did. So um, happy I got it from him and looks like the order came with um, stickers as well as usual from rickshaw. So, so happy that I got to pick these stuff up. So yeah, it was like a no brainer when I saw the rickshaw sleeve, so. And I'm a fan of rickshaw um, cases because the one I have, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. So I think that is all for accessories. And let's see the actual uh, fountain pen that I, uh, the one fountain pen I purchased. So I brought this bag so I can keep it safe and I'm glad I did. Um, so this is um, my first purchased um, vintage pen. This is a Schaefer Tuckaway. And I just, um, the first time I saw it was on eBay and I got really, it was very attractive to me and I love pocket pens. And this is the perfect first vintage pen. I do have a vintage pen that uh, I got from my dad. So um, yeah, so, but this one, is my first purchase um, vintage pen. This is, um, it says Schaefer Pen Company, made in Canada. So I hope you can see right there. Uh, so this is, looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, she did say they are in working order. Um, so, but the nib was giving me issues on the left stroke. So, um, yeah, so I had him like, I don't know, give it a quick buffing just to, I don't know what he did, but he had like this buffing machine and he kind of like buffed it a bit. Here's a good look of the nib. So I really um, need to learn to kind of tune up my own nib, but okay, so it doesn't want to focus, but that is the nib. And yeah, he just dipped it in, I think Waterman Serenity Blue. So I brought my Hobonichi and I was able to check my map and I was able to uh, make sure which one I went to and I had Matt's nib work uh, work on this one and um, so I tested it here and it was writing pretty good and I think this is in the fine nib and it's uh, great because I can also cap it if I wanted to, right there. And yeah, so um, this is in the color burgundy. Um, so that is the stuff that I purchased, which is not a lot. I know that um, I could have totally, you know, purchased more, but I had to watch it because I just blew my budget a day before this show. I blew it on a sailor and i um i just yeah i know i wasn't supposed to buy another fountain pen but it's going to be my christmas gift to myself so that's yeah that's um that's how i 
justified it so so yeah thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i've never done a vlog before so i hope you enjoyed this video give a like to this video thank you so much for watching guys and for coming along on the trip and i will see you guys next week bye